explain to them what's going on set up some kind of a of a of a minimum payment plan so you can start making some progress and get them off your back and then you got your job I don't really like those words, self-help or self-management or self-improvement. I don't really like what those words have come to mean these days. Because there's a, a lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change, right? The one change in their life that's going to make their dreams come true. And even worse, on top of that, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of self-help gurus and these hyperactive motivational speakers and these other self-appointed modern Zen yoga warriors that they're trying to sell the one thing. They're trying to sell the nine steps or the enlightened path that's going to allow you to unlock all of your human potential and fulfill the dreams so you can live the life that you've, you've always wanted to live. Now, I'm no guru and I definitely don't claim to be. I'm just a man. But I will tell you this, it isn't one thing, and it isn't 10 things, and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path, and there are no shortcuts. And meditation won't get you there, and neither will a miracle drug or an organic supplement or some superfood. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. One of the best tips about becoming successful is you need to ignore what other people are telling you. Especially the naysayers, the ones who claim that whatever you're doing is a waste of time and you can't do it and it's not worth your energy. Those are the ones who truly wish that they were striving for their goals and wish that they were the ones who were becoming successful. They're just trying to live their dreams through you without actually admitting it. This also goes for you. You can't look at yourself and compare yourself to others who are doing better than you or worse than you. You can't be thinking that some people are so much better than you or that you're better than so many other people because that's when things get tough. That's when you get hit in the face and brought down to the very bottom and everybody becomes better than you because you start comparing and you start believing things that are false. When in actuality, we are all created equal and we're all the same and we all have the same amount of time in each and every single day, 24 hours, but it's all about what you do with that time and how you use it, how efficiently you can do what you want to do in that allotted amount of time. Because people that get to success faster are the ones who use the best time for themselves. They wake up early, they stay up later, they use their time more efficiently than you. That doesn't mean they're better than you, that just means they have more experience and they know what they're doing. And people that are worse than you, you think, aren't necessarily worse than you. They just haven't gotten to that stage of life where you are. They just need more time to grow and learn and mature. So everybody's on the same playing field. How do you do that? You don't have any positive role model around you that's like an Uncle Jake. Which, by the way, most people don't have an Uncle Jake. Most people, you got what you got. My parents were college professors and they don't have any of these skills and they sit around and talk about philosophy. Now I ended up, I can talk about philosophy well, but I can't fix my car or I can't defend myself in a combat scenario in the streets. So what are you gonna do? Okay, this is real simple. Go do things, go do things. Lift, start lifting weights. Learn how to deadlift, learn how to squat. That's, a, that's part about being a man, right? Physically strong. Learn some jujitsu. I recommend that. Probably could have guessed that one. Learning how to fight. Learning how to defend yourself. I just got asked this the other day. A kid came up to me. He's like, what should I do if I get intimidated by other people and I, or I don't know how to react when people like get in my face? Discipline, it does start with waking up early. It really does. But that is just the beginning. And I always say that discipline is the root of all good qualities. You have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system. It's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do but that you know will help you or help your team. You know what? That's just kind of the way that life works sometimes. It's, it's Murphy's Law. Things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once, and they just compound. 
on top of each other and it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beat when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time but that doesn't mean give up in fact it means the opposite it means it's time for you to fight hard to dig in it means it's time for you to go on the war path and that starts with one of the fundamental laws of combat leadership prioritize and execute what's the biggest problem what's causing the most stress family okay sit them down explain where you are at be blunt be upfront and then give them the simple plan of how you're gonna get things back on track don't sugarcoat it you give it to them straight Thank you all so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below.